This is Endrick, football's most hyped wonder kid. He's just made the move to Real Madrid, but there's a problem. In Brazil, he was great, but in Real Madrid, he's back down to a one overall player. But today, for every goal that he scores, he's going to go up by one overall. And at the end of season one, Endrick has grown naturally to a 17 overall, and he scored, well, zero goals, which means he's not going up any extra overall, but there's a catch. Every season, I'm going to spin this wheel and give Endrick a challenge, and if he can completes that challenge, I can max out one of his stats to 99 overall. However, if he fails the challenge, I have to take his highest rated stat and make it back down to a one overall. Let's spin the wheel and see what he ends up with. Ooh, okay, this is interesting. This challenge says we need to win both El Clasicos in a season. Here's the first of those Clasicos. It's Barcelona versus Real Madrid. And it's a 2-1 win for Real Madrid. That's one of them down. Oh my God, Endrick's the captain. He's, what, what, what? He's 23 overall. Is he playing? No, he's not playing. Then why is he the captain? And here comes the second Classico. Can we win the second? Yes, he does. Endrick wins his second Classico. And that means we can max out one of his stats to 99 overall. Honestly, I don't think this is a real question. I think we have to max out his finishing. He's a striker. That's like his one job. So we're going to give him 99 finishing. And with that one change, Endrick jumps up from a 25 to a 39 overall. And there's the 99 finishing that he now has. He's now like not terrible, kind of. Let's finish out the season and see where Endrick ends up. Real Madrid have actually won the La Liga title. They got knocked out of the Champions League by Manchester United, but it's the final day of the season and I'm just going to start Endrick up front. I want to see if I can get him a goal. Endrick versus Getafe. Can he score on his debut? No, he doesn't. He gets subbed off in the 47th minute. That's awfully harsh, I think. And Captain Endrick ends the season with one appearance and zero goals. Unsurprising. Maybe next season we'll end up with a more interesting challenge where he'll get some more game time. But there's some crazy challenges on this wheel. And let's find out what he ends up with. Oh my god. I didn't think I'd get this so early. Oh, this is going to be good. It's it's Grimsby time. That's right, folks. Remove it from the wheel and let's do it. And here he is, the man himself. He has to play for Grimsby for an entire season. And not only play for Grimsby, but uh, we're going to start him every single game. He's going to get real actual game time in the Coca-Cola League 2. Mate, he looks so cool in every single kit. It's actually not fair. Hendrick joins Grimsby on a 12-month loan. Here we go. Why Grimsby? Because it's like one of the most depressing football clubs in the world. I'm going to go to May, simming out every game individually and uh, see where we get to. I also want predictions in the comments. How many goals do you think Endrick will actually score? Let's sim out the first game. And he's not scored. And he got subbed off in the first half. Oh, this is going to be a long season. Endrick has played the whole season here. He's 47 overall. And in the squad hub, here's the moment of truth. He's still the lowest rated player on the team, but I've made sure he's played every single game this season. What are his stats? Oh God, I'm a bit nervous. Ooh, okay. That's good. Second top score, 16 goals for a 47 rated player. That's really good. So 47 plus 16 is 63. So we're going to make him 63 overall. And there he is at 63 rated. But he of course completed the challenge this year playing for Grimsby for the whole season. So we can give him 199 overall stats. What are we going to choose? Uh, you know what? I was going to give him 99 ball control, but then I actually thought about it. Now I want to make him fast. So I gave him 99 sprint speed instead. <laughs> He's going to be hilarious to play with. All he can do is literally run and shoot and basically do nothing else. But his time at Grimsby is now finished. We can terminate the loan and send him back to Real Madrid. But again, let's spin the wheel. What's it going to be? Oh, this one's going to be good. Okay. Score a bicycle kick one game. Okay. Let's remove that from the wheel. So here we are at the first game of the season against Celta Vigo. And if I don't score a bicycle kick in this game, I have to take Endrick's highest rated stat and make it one overall. And he's 67 rated and I need to score a bicycle kick with him. Basically, what we've got to do is sprint down the line, chip it up to Endrick and just hope he somehow triggers the animation. We need to chip it up to him and then bicycle kick it. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> What a goal! Oh my god! He might be the goal. So we got dings back to him. Oh my god, that's insane. Oh, keeper has to save it, but like that definitely counts. Endrick, man, what a go. First try. That took seven minutes. Challenge is over. We can max out another one of his stats. That was ridiculous. Oh my God. And getting him as high rated as possible, as quickly as possible is really important because Real Madrid haven't won the Champions League, even with this incredible team. And on top of that, Endrick wants to win himself the Ballon d'Or, wants to become the first Brazilian Ballon d'Or winner since Kaká. And he can only do that if he's 99 rated. I decided to upgrade his acceleration so now 
Very is 99 pace. Just enjoy. This kite is going to be so much fun to use. But first of all, we got to sim out this season and see how many goals he scores. And we can also see if Real Madrid get into the Champions League because he's the best wonder kid in the world. And he needs to prove that. There's other wonder kids out there like Lamine Yamal trying to take the Ballon d'Or off him. But no, he has to put his stall out and let everyone know that he is here to stay. And taking the Ballon d'Or in 2026 is Vinicius Jr. There you go. Endrick needs to take it off his teammate. He's not the only Brazilian looking for the Ballon d'Or. Vinicius is injured though. May open the door for Endrick. Let's go to the end of this year and see how many goals he scores. Can he finally get his first goal for Real Madrid that isn't a bicycle kick? Uh-oh. I've come back to Real Madrid at the end of the year and uh, Endrick's gone. He's not here. Oh God, where's he gone? Inter Milan! Oh my god. 81 rated! Lad, how good is he now? That is unreal. He had a great season at Inter. Let's go check it out. That is ridiculous. And here he is, 81 rated. Has he scored goals? No, he still hasn't. That is ridiculous. Balogun and Martinez up front. Oh, that is a duo. Oh, God. That's going to be tough for Endrick to break into. Why did he move here if he's just going to sit on the bench again? This team is actually really good, though. Endrick can only make it better, I, I, I hope. But he's sitting on the bench. Why would you do this? They are in a Champions League semi-final. They're losing, but they have a chance. Can they get through? No. Endrick has just flown up this season. It's ridiculous. He's getting so much overall. He's now really good. We got to spin the wheel. Hold on. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Score with horrible sliders. Okay. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to go here to game settings. We're going to go to user sliders and we're going to make everything difficult. We're going to make zero sprint seed, zero acceleration and 100% shot error. It's basically going to be impossible to score. And if I fail this challenge, I need to take Endrick's highest rated stat. That's not one of the 99 stats that we maxed out. And I need to make it one overall, which will probably death his rating and make him terrible again. Endrick, run. Oh my God. Run, Endrick. You see what I mean? We have to live with this. I have to play like this. I can't do this. Oh my God, I've won it back. Endrick, have a shot. Oh yeah, you see, like it's impossible. Endrick, don't mess this up. Oh my God. There's, there's no point I'm gone. I can tramp it back to Endrick. Okay, Endrick shoots. Oh my god, look at that. Please, spare me, Lopez. Oh my god, it's 1-0. Okay, it was only a matter of time. Doesn't matter anyway. All we need to do is score with Endrick. Oh, the speed boost from Endrick. Oh, the pace! He's got him behind. Have a power shot. Oh my god, that is terrible. It's just depressing. Half time, 1-0 down. I'll take that. But we need a goal with Endrick. Come on. It's the 82nd minute. Literally nothing's happened for the last 40 minutes. Bastoni, run, bro. Oh my god, bring the keeper out. I can't even do it. It's 2-0. Okay, okay. Okay, this is not going to work. He's made the move from Real Madrid. He's bet on himself. And now he's getting decimated in raising. Unless he can score. Right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hendrik. No. Why did I power shot? And there we go. The game's over. Yeah. Okay, fine. You got me. First challenge failed. Let's take Endrick's highest rated stat. That's not one of the stats that we maxed out. And let's make it one overall. Oh, it's shot power. 94 shot power. Lad. Oh my God. Okay, we got to make that one overall. He's gone from an 81 overall down to a 72. Oh, oh Endrick, my boy. What's happened? Okay, that's okay. It's, it's, it's fine. There's going to be plenty more opportunities in the season for him to score goals and get good. But for now, we got to sim out this season. Season. Oh my god. Let's see if he even stays at Inter Milan. He could well move. Back at Inter at the end of the season and Endrick is... Where is Endrick? Oh my god. He's gone again, isn't he? Endrick's on the move again. Granted, his overall did get tanked, but let's see where he ended up. Aston Villa. Oh my god. He's back up to an 80 overall, so he's basically back where he was last season. That seems like a bit of a backward step from Real Madrid to Inter Milan to Aston Villa, but it might be exactly what he needs. It could make sense for Endrick to start at like a B tier kind of club and then work himself up to that A tier superstar level. This is that Aston Villa team. It's Adam Klozek starting up front alongside Oli Watkins, I think, with Endrick off the bench. But this team is really good. This is positive. How are they doing in the Premier League? Sixth. Damn, that's pretty good. Okay, then let's cut to the chase. Endrick, same rating as Oli Watkins. Can he get some goals? No, zero goals. <laughs> He's not playing, man. He's actually not playing. But if we leave him here at Aston Villa for another season, he'll start to get goals. Him and Adam Klozek alongside each other will start bossing the game. His shot power is up to 15 as well, so he's making progress. That's good. Let's spin the wheel one more time and let's see what challenge he has for next season. Here we go. Come on, Hendrik. Oh, be double or nothing. Stop, stop. Oh, yes. Okay, that's good. Double or nothing is really simple. If we complete this challenge now, we can max out two stats to 99. And if we don't, we have to take his two highest overall stats and make them uh, one overall. So basically, we're doubling the stakes. 
stakes. The question is, what challenge are those massive stakes going to be on? Oh, yes. Yes, this is good. We have to make him four foot three and score a header in a game. We have one game to do it. And because there's 38 games in the Premier League season, I'm going to randomly generate a number and whatever number it lands on is the game we're going to be playing. It's game 23 of the Premier League season. It's going to be the first game in February and it's West Ham at home. And there's Endrick. Look at him. He's tiny. Run, Endrick. Move those little legs. And a reminder of the objective, we need to score a header with him. And it's double or nothing as well. If we pull this off, we can max out two of his stats to 99 overall. But if we fail, we have to take his two highest rated stats and make them one overall. This is a pivotal point in the video. Here comes Endrick. Oh my God, he's tiny. Played him behind. Oh, this is nothing. He is so small. Oh, oh. Oh, hit the top of his head. Oh, and he's fallen. And he's at the post. Oh, God. Cut back. Back post. Endrick. No, he volleyed it. Oh, he's offside anyway. That was so close. Back post. Why not, Endrick? Oh, that's why. Okay, because he's four for three. That makes sense. Chip it up. Endrick on the head. Oh, he's actually done it. At four foot three. The smallest player ever. He's actually scored a header. What a go. Oh my God. Oh my God. He is tiny. He is absolutely tiny. No way. Oh my God. How did he win that header? What a header though. I'm not joking you. That's a brilliant finish. That is unreal. He's actually done it. Let's go. And because it was double or nothing, we can take two stats and make them 99 overall. I'm definitely going to do his shot power because that's 26 overall and he needs that higher. And I'm also going to do stamina to make sure he can be as good as possible for as long as possible. And with just those two changes, Endrick is up to a 91 rating. The exact same stats, but now he has maximum stamina and maximum shot power. Oh, and let's make him his normal height again. <laughs> Now he's one of the best players in the world. Every club is going to want to sign him. He's going to get sold in the summer for sure. He's worth what? Yeah, 265 million. We're back with Endrick at the end of the season. And how many goals has he scored? 22. Okay, well, he's maxed out. He's up to a 99 overall. But just because he's 99 rated doesn't mean we're not going to spin the wheel. We're still going to spin it because, of course, he can go down in overall. If he fails the challenge, then we have to take a 99 rated stat and make it one overall. After Villa are 13th in the league and they're doing terribly, uh, Endrick's going to get a big move away this summer, I'm sure. And as expected, Endrick does get signed by another club, but it's a club that he's already been at. He's been recruited back to Real Madrid. His career has come full circle, and now it's his opportunity. His goal is simple, win the Ballon d'Or. He has teammates and enemies that will all be going for the Ballon d'Or, including Vinicius Jr., Kylian Mbappe, and Erling Haaland, and he needs to prove that he is the best player for the job. He picks up the number 10 jersey, and he goes to dominate world football. All he needs is one good year, though, and that'll win him the Ballon d'Or. His dream. But like I said, we're still spinning the wheel. We need to make sure these challenges are completed in order to keep him at a 99 overall and uh, oh god. Make a goalkeeper as strike partner. This team is ridiculously good but uh, we're going to have to make Andre Lunin a striker. He's going to play up front alongside Endrick. We don't need Lunin to score or anything like that. We just need to leave him up front for three months. We need to simulate every single game manually and we just need to see what happens. We need to see if Real Madrid get decimated because realistically for Endrick, in order for him to win the Ballon d'Or, he kind of needs to win the champion League, and if he doesn't qualify for the Champions League, then he can't win the Champions Good League. Job. That is how it works. First game of the season, Lunin and Endrick up front. Are we gonna win? Nil nil draw. He played the whole game. Lunin did not even get taken off. That is hilarious. We're not quite done yet. We're into the last month, but we have an El Clasico to play with Lunin up front. Oh, we got a draw. I don't think he scored yet, by the way, but we still have a lot of games left to go, so he could well still score. Three months of simulation is done. We actually didn't do that badly. I mean, we could have definitely won more without Lunin up front, but the, the question on everyone's lips is, did he score? Score. He did! He got a goal! Oh my god, he actually scored. What a goal. With the Ballon d'Or on at the 5th of November, who is going to take it? Is it going to be Endrick? No! It's Rodrigo! Oh, okay, okay, okay. His Brazilian teammate takes the Ballon d'Or. That's okay. Like I said, even though Endrick's 99 rated, we still probably need to win the Champions League in order for him to win the Ballon d'Or. We're back with Real Madrid and they're in a Champions League semi-final against Monaco. This is the full Champions League picture. Man City versus Napoli in the other semi final it could be a tough final for us here we go monaco to play let's see if we can do this 2-1 down in the first leg can we claw it back we do a 3-2 win overall endrick is clutch who do we play in the final man city of course it's man city but now we have man city to play and this is their team foden Haaland, elise oh my god that team is so good here we go man city versus real madrid in the champions league final as far as i'm concerned if endrick wins this game he's going to win the ballon d'or down to de young skips by 
Garnacho off the bat, puts it away. Oh my God, the ex-Man United player against Manchester City makes it 1-0 to Real Madrid. That had nothing to do with Endrick at all. But I mean, he's winning in a Champions League final, so I don't really care. Endrick, who started this season with a goalkeeper as his strike partner, still somehow managed to make it through the Champions League group stage. And now he's here at the final. Unbelievable. Great ball into the box. Oh my God. Haaland almost scored a bicycle kick. What a save from Courtois. Man City looks so dangerous. It's Erling Haaland. It has to be. And it is in. It's Michael Elise with the goal. It's one all. That is heartbreaking. That's so tough. Oh my God. Haaland with an assist. I thought he was going to shoot from there, but he set up Elise beautifully. Benton Kerr to Haaland. Into Moretti. 2-1 it has to be. And it is. Man City take a second. Oh my God. I can't believe this. Endrick, man. My boy. What's happened? He's not even showing up. I've hardly seen him all game. Honestly, he's been absolutely nowhere. Those two Man City goals came like a blur, but ever since Real Madrid have been dominating, it's half time, but Real Madrid are right on top of this game. Over the top to Endrick. Great ball back to Garnacho. It's going to be Garnacho. Into De Jong. Into De Jong. De Jong with the goal. That's a massive goal for Real Madrid. He grabs the ball. He wants more. The ex Barcelona player puts Real Madrid level in the Champions League final. What a massive moment for Endrick's career. Oh my God. It's actually happening. Manchester City just probing. Looks so dangerous. Good block from Schlotterbeck, but they're right there. It's going to extra time. I can't do this. I, can't, I don't have the nerve for this. The stuff that we've put Endrick through. The last two and a half hours of recording. Endrick's gone from the worst player on the planet to now literally the best. He's still not won the Ballon d'Or, but he's right up there. I feel like attached to him now. And now he's going into a Champions League final. Extra time. 30 minutes to decide who's going to win the Champions League. Come on, please let it be Real. I'm going to repeat what I said at the start of the game. If Real win this game, then it's likely that Endrick will win the Ballon d'Or. Into Moretti. He's going to shoot. He's going to shoot. He's going to score. Moretti with the goal. That could be everything. Into Endrick. Uh oh. Come on, Endrick. Please put it away. He's done. Endrick has scored the equaliser. What a massive goal. He shows up when you need him the most like the big players do. And it's 3-0. Oh my God. Oh my God. Manchester stunned into silence. Madrid is manic. Oh my God. Endrick's a nothing all game. But the second he gets a whisper, he punishes Manchester City. And that's only the first half of extra time. There's still another 15 minutes. Oh my God. And Erling Haaland's actually been taken off here. Which seems very interesting, especially if this does go all the way to penalties. Bursts down the left wing. He cuts into the box. It's Hendrik. What a save. Can Real Madrid get forward here? Are we playing for penalties? There we go. Game over. Two all. Three all on the night. What a game of football. Hendrik saves Real Madrid. And we're going to a penalty shootout. And the first up is Sarmiento. Oh, just gets it in. Hendrik off the post. What a penalty. Moretti steps up next. Scores as well. Great pen. Nico Barea. Puts it away. Real Madrid shooting second, but they're shooting well. Phil Foden up next. Saved by Courtois. Real Madrid have the upper hand. Vinicius steps up next. Puts it away. 3-2 to Real Madrid. Two penalties each left. Dani Olmo steps up. Massive penalty for Man City. Sinks it in the bottom corner. It's Garnacho for Endrick's Ballon d'Or. Saved by Ederson. And it's Liam Delap of all people stepping up. Puts it in the top corner. All comes down to this. And it's Reese James of all people. The Chelsea captain playing for Real Madrid. Puts it away. Nerves of steel. And now it's Nathan Ake, the centre back. Can Courtois make a save? Oh my God. How has he not saved that? Are you serious, Courtois? No. And it's Militao, the centre back. He puts so much power on it. And it's in the bottom corner. What a penalty for Militao. I can't hold my nerve. It's Almas Ratti. Down the middle. It's gone to 6-5. Trent. Come on, Trent. Put it away, Trent. Good penalty. Never in doubt. And it's Ederson, the keeper. Saved by Courtois. And next up is Frankie de Jong. Scored in the game. Can he score his penalty for Hendrik? Yes, he can. And Frankie de Jong scores the winner for Real Madrid. What a game of football we've just witnessed. And that is the best penalty shootout in Champions League history. Frankie de Jong scores the decisive penalty. Ederson misses from the spot. Hendrik wins his first ever Champions League title. What a game of football. And it doesn't get much better than that. Oh, what a game. And in all of its glory, it's Eder Militao. Last up in the captain's armband. And Hendrik from Real Madrid, captain himself. 
He's left, developed, and come back to win the Champions League for Real Madrid. The club that paid so much for him in the first place got him back to do the business. And here he is, having done it. When they were down and when they were tested, 3-2 down in Champions League, extra time, Endrick popped up, buried the only opportunity he had of the game, and then slotted his penalty kick home to get Real Madrid Champions League glory. But of course, that's not the objective of this video, really. The Champions League trophy is great and all, but the Ballon d'Or is what we really care about. So let's skip the crap. Let's go right to the end of October and let's see if Endrick is at least nominated. Here are the Ballon d'Or nominees. Endrick is there. That's what I want to see. Rodrigo, the ex-Ballon d'Or winner, is there as well as Vinicius and Kylian Mbappe. Oh, God. I know he won the Champions League, which means he should win the Ballon d'Or, but I can't help but feel nervous for this. This is the whole point of the video. I really want this to work out. Please, Endrick, just win the Ballon d'Or. Yeah! Yes, Endrick wins the Ballon d'Or. The dream is complete. Endrick is a Ballon d'Or winner from one overall to 99 rated. And having that said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, then check out this one. Right, so Jude Bellingham from a one overall to a 99 rated player with a, a lot of chaos in the middle. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you later. Yes!